Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In this video here, we're going to do image classification on the Caltech 256 dataset with Autolytics Hub. So I'm going to show you the whole pipeline, how we can take a dataset structured in the correct format to use it with Autolytics. So we're going to cover the whole framework. We take a dataset, how we can structure it, throw it into the Autolytics Hub, upload it, and then we can train the models directly in there in just a few clicks. So let's just jump straight into it and see how we can train these custom YOLO V8 models for image classification. So now just jump straight into the Autolytics documentation. If we go inside this datasets tab, we can then scroll a bit further down. Again, we have tons of videos covering a lot in here. So definitely check those videos out on the channel. If you just go a bit further down, we have all the different tasks, image classification, detection, segmentation, post estimation, and so on. But right now we're going to do classification. We have this Caltech 256. So right now we can read about like the key features. We have around 30,000 colored images divided into 257 categories. So we're going to have a folder with each individual class that we want to do classification with for the Autolytics YOLO V8 model. So this is pretty cool. This is the exact same way that you will do it if you're using a custom data set. We just need to have our train test and validation set and then the individual classes. You can read about the key features, the data set structures in here and also the applications. This is how you can use it if you want to use it in a Python script or from the command line. But we're going to see how we can use the Autolytics Hub. So we only need to do a few clicks. These are some of the image examples and also annotations. So here we can see that we have a bunch of whales. We also have different types of animals and so on. So this is basically the data set that we're going to work with. So I've just download this data set here to my computer. Let's go in and see how it looks and also structure it in the correct way for the Autolytics Hub. So first of all here, let's just jump straight into the Autolytics Hub. Let's see how we can upload a data set. If you go up here in the top right corner, upload data set. Classification, detection, RNA bounding boxes, segmentation, and post estimation. Let's now hit classify. We can set up the name. So I'm just going to call this test. Now we can just drop in our zip folder with all the images and our whole data set. We just need to have it in this specific format. So we have a zip folder with our classification problem or data set that we want to solve with our Autolytics YOLO 8 model. So we need to have a train, test, and also validation set. Right now, let me just open one of them or like all of them here so you can see the data set structure. Then we need for each of these individual train, test, and validation splits, we need to have folders with all of the classes that we want to do classification for. So say that we have two examples or like two classes that we want to classify between, then we basically just need two folders as we can see here. With the setup here, you can pretty much just add an arbitrary number of objects or like an arbitrary number of images and, and classes that you want to do classification on. So this specific data set that we're using, we have 257 classes. So right now, let's just go inside this file explorer. We can go in and see we have the Caltech data set. I've already divided into the test, train and validation set. Right now, you can also just download it directly from Autolytics, the data set registry or the website. You can also use your own custom data set. So we just have the zip folder. So this is just a file or like the folder with all the different classes that we need to go in and divide it into a train test and validation split before we can upload it into the Autolytics hub. So I've already done that. We just need to take each individual class and then we have them inside of our test. So we just have a bunch of test classes here. Again, those are the same ones as the other ones. We just have different images. We want to train our models on a specific set of images and then do validation on it while we're fine tuning our high parameters. And then at the end, once we have fine tuned our model, we're satisfied with the results. We can then test it on a separate test set. So this just makes sure that our model act like just generalizes well. So if you just take a look at the training, we have all these classes. I can just scroll through them. 250. 57 classes. Let's just go in and take one of them. So we have a unicorn and then we have a bunch of images. We have around like 100 images for each class. So we have pretty good class balance as well. So these are just some of the examples that we want to do classification on. And this is all we need. We just need to have it in this format. We can zip the folder and upload it directly in here. So right now we have the Caltech, we have the zip folder. Now I can just drag it in here and it's going to just create it. We hit create. It's going to check the available storage upload it and then we can just train a custom classification model with a few clicks once it's uploaded. So I already have the data set here. We have the Caltech 256. We have the 257 classes, around 37,000 images and 1.3 gigabytes. 
Right now we can just scroll in and to it here. We can see we have a train validation and also a test set. We go in, see an overview over our images, both in our train validation and test. We can see the class imbalances and so on. Right now, the only thing that we have to do is to go up and hit train model. We will then get into this view inside the Autolytics hub. We can then choose between the different YOLO architectures for the classification model, nano, small, medium, large, and extra large. Right now, let's just go with the nano model just for the sake of demonstration. You can choose the different model configurations with image size, number of epochs, if you want to use a pre-trained model or train it from scratch and so on. Let's just, just go with the default settings. We hit continue. Then inside the Autolytics hub, you can either use the Autolytics cloud a Google Colab notebook, if you prefer to use that, or just have a free view examples, could also have a pro version, or you can bring your own agent, train it on your local machine. Right now, let's just go with the Autolytics Cloud. We're going to train it for, let's just do 30 epochs, just for demonstration. Then we can go down, choose the available instance, use the hub account balance, and we hit start training. And that's pretty much everything that we have to do. It's going to open up the cloud instance is just going to boot it up, prepare it. Once it has done that, we're going to see all the live metrics for the training, all the accuracies and so on while it's training the classification model. So it's the top one and also the top five accuracies that we're looking at and also the losses. So this is just going to take a few minutes and that's it. We take our data set, we convert it into the correct structure, upload it into the Autolytics hub, hit train, choose the model that you want to use. It's going to train the model and then you can use it, deploy it, export it to whatever format that you want, use it in your own custom applications and projects. So now we can see that the training is in progress. We're going to see the number of epochs. Again, it's 30,000 images that it has to pass through for every single epoch. So it might take some time here to get some training results. So that's everything that we have to do to do classification with Yolo V8 from Autolytics on the Caltech 256 data set and pretty much an arbitrary data set. You can take whatever data set, we just need to divide it into the folders with the correct format, upload it, hit train, you can train the model, export it, and use it in your own applications and projects. So thank you guys for watching this video here. Hope you like the content, definitely try it out on your own. You just need to find a data set, a few clicks, and you're good to go. Hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, Happy training.